And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. A pause, and the 0-2. He's running towards second. Soft liner to the left side. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. Number 25 will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Three runs already home here. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Yeah, the velocity's good here, but... Strike three, and that'll put an end to a big inning. So three runs on six hits, no errors. Striding in to start the ninth, Sean Ozuna, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. The batter, number four. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. With the ninth pick of the second round, the Detroit Tigers select the first baseman from the West region. Okay, so we're making our way through the second round now. The next team is on the clock, but before we get to their pick, guys, what do you think of the most recent selection? Well, I think it's a solid pick. At this point, teams are looking to grab those guys they've had their eye on that maybe fell out of the first round. And I got to think they're excited to see this guy get to this point in the draft. We got to see him in action a little bit leading up to today, and he looked pretty decent. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if he can develop into a legit. All right, tonight's Double-A Eastern League action is drawing nearer as we welcome you back to our minor league pregame show with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Number 23 is our subject, making his Double-A debut in this one, so this is probably an exciting day for him. Well, I'm sure it is, but he knows... He MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the first of this four. Number 23 stands in for the first time. Number 23. 
into the windup and the pitch. First pitch oh, hacking man. here, and that's the first strike. And you know he's a guy that's definitely going to attack you with the fastball. He's got a good one, so why not? Seared down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied. Nothing. Jonathan Diaz digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. Yeah, they just haven't been able to figure it out yet, but it's still early. We're seeing some pretty good pitching so far in this oh. game. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now to the plate, Zach Montes. He flew out in his last at-bat. Well, at least he was able to get it into the outfield, and that's more than most of his teammates can say so far. Fun attempt, and it looks like a good one. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Number 23 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. First baseman, number 23. Swing and a liner. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone, then maybe your offense can go from there. The next 0-2 oh, misses, outside. and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he's retired here, one away. Now batting. And this is... Chris Sanchez is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Oh, and he botches it. Well, I've got to think this is a lack of communication right here. I don't know if... Number 23 will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. That's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, one and one. And the way these guys have been swinging at everything, I'm surprised he didn't go after that one, too. Ah, uh, gets him to swing at a pitch and down and out of the zone, one and two. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. To two, two balls two. and yep. two strikes now. I smell another changeup coming here before too long. Could even be right here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Anderson is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Number 23 will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Well, he's had a rough one at the plate in this one, guys. But here's another opportunity to get something going. Anderson is there. Makes the play one away. Freddy Baez comes to the plate now with the tying run at first. So he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. Now the 0-2 pitch. And now a two-strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. So stepping in, Jonathan Diaz, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Grounded back up the middle. Ah, flip of his glove for one. On to first, and they get them both. Number 23 will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame. 
Number and what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point in the game, but he could make up for it with a big hit right here. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. And it is a run. Second and third, two away. And that misses two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that changeup away? Full count now. Three, Three and two. Three. You can just sense him starting to tense up out there on the mound. They had him down 0 and 2, and now he's struggling to make the perfect pitch, and it's not happening. Oh, here's a hard hit ball. That'll get down into left center field. That's a base hit. In to score, the runner from third. The run scores from second, make it 5-1. to one. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. And you have to feel good for that guy right there. The games finally count, and he comes out on opening day and turns in a great performance.